Brian, John Nolan and, and Toto Enciallo have, have now joined Ipswich. What are your, your thoughts on that? I think we all wanted it done. Um, and I'm pleased that they made our valuation um, eventually. It's been rumbling on. It wasn't a great week last week, you know, with the transfer requests and everything. But and there's no way I was, that was going to suddenly change my mind in, on valuations of the players. Um, obviously, but they've met our valuation and their add-ons on top of that for games played and, and a sell-ons as well. So even over the weekend, we've, we eventually came to an agreement with Ipswich yeah, yesterday, Sunday. Um, and they, they met well, not only our valuation, which they'd done at the weekend, but obviously yesterday we were arguing over um, the sell-on percentages, which we now achieved as well. So I'm glad we stood firm. You know, I said from day one we didn't need to sell, we didn't need the money. Um, but I think from everybody's point of view, we all need to move on. You know, I spoke to, to Matt Sadler one day last week and he was saying from the playing point of view, they, everybody wanted to move on with it. Um, but the main thing is we stuck firm and they, we, they've reached our valuation. You know, we weren't going to sell players on the cheap that we didn't need to do. Um, and we stuck firm and, and we got the money we wanted and we got the sell-ins we wanted as well. Because it is important to, to get a good deal for the football club. Absolutely. At the end of the day, I mean, John Nolan had two years left in his contract and obviously Toto had one. Um, but I believe that what we've done is the right thing for this football club uh, and I'm glad we, we were strong with it, I'm glad we stuck to our guns, um, The players, even when the players um, put in the transfer request, for me that actually helped me because it allowed me to then go public and explain to everybody you know, what, what the situation was and just be open and honest, which I'll always try and do with the fans because I think the fans deserve that. So, you know. I, to, to get it to come to a conclusion, I did say on Saturday in Radio Shropshire after the game that I was hoping that it would come to a conclusion in 40 hours and it has done, so I'm delighted with that. Yeah, because realistically we could have kept them but there's no point keeping players that, that aren't clearly happy at the football club. You, you want players who want to play for Shrewsbury Town um, and obviously with a transfer request last week, um, these players didn't want to play for Shrewsbury Town. Um, we've got plenty of other players out there who will be happy to play for Shrewsbury Town. Um, and the main thing was we got the money at the same time so listen, it's not an ideal situation we didn't want to sell the players from day one we wanted those two players to be part of the squad for this season but if they don't want to play for us then it's, it's no use to anybody is it? Yeah, poor timing I would say but you've got a few days now to, to hopefully get someone in Yeah, I mean, we've been working behind the scenes I think we were always aware that this may happen the timing's obviously unfortunate You know, three days before our first game um, but that's football for you, you just have to move on, take it in the chin and try and move on. It's, it was unsettling for some of the players, as, you, as I said there, and obviously for John as well, but we've always got irons in the fire to try and make sure that we've got the, the squad of players and the squad of players that want to play for Shrewsbury Town. With those two players, I guess it's obviously disappointing that they've gone, but they did bring a lot to the club in, in the time that they were here. Yeah, they both did very well for the club. You know, They wouldn't be attracting the valuations that we put on them um, if they hadn't done well. You know, they both did really, really well. And it was made clear even last week. You know, I spoke to their agent, um, who was you know, cause another club actually came in, who's a bigger club than Ipswich, came in and asked about Toto and for a valuation, and and I merely again being transparent with the agent, had said uh, that this other club had come in who had a bigger club than Ipswich, and they said that they felt their futures were at Ipswich. They didn't want to consider a move to another club. So, you know, you, and and I get that it's all about you know players and looking after their families etc. But you know, potentially this other club might have offered the player more money, so it can't necessarily all be about that. But listen, we've, we've, we've got to a conclusion now, that's the main thing. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of. We've been made aware of some of the some of the things that have been going on through the, even the agents, to be honest. We told me about who's been speaking to what player behind the scenes. That's disappointing because it's unsettled the players, um, even going back a few weeks now. So that that's not very nice. But... I think that's football and we all move on. We're just glad it's now reached a conclusion. But as far as Shrewsbury Town fans are concerned, they can be rest assured that this has certainly not been done on the cheap. No, definitely not. Um, I, I said from day one that we had had a valuation of what I wanted for it and eventually you know, we, we got there um, by sticking our heels in, if, whatever, whatever you want to do. But I'm not going to certainly sell players cheaply just because they've put a transfer request and I'm certainly not going to play, sell players when we don't need to sell players.